Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and today I'm gonna take you with me into an event uh, photo shoot. I'm gonna be shooting an event, uh, something about Chinese Moon Festival. I'm gonna go into a school, but basically what I'm gonna be talking about is the gear I use, how I use it, and why I use this gear. So I'm gonna start with the bag. I have my Gizzo bag, handmade leather, in Italian leather or something like this. Actually, it's fantastic. I love this bag, and it's really leather. It really feels good. Now I'm gonna talk about the camera. And when I talk about the camera, I use the Sony A6300. I used to use the 5D, I don't know why I switched to this, kind of like being small and light. Um, I have a battery grip, Menke battery grip. And that's because the battery lasts nothing, even when you're shooting pictures. It's one battery is not enough, you need to be switching batteries all the time. Even two batteries might not be enough, but at least you, I don't need to switch that often. And it gives me a nice grip, so I don't get my hand doesn't get tired. This hand will get tired. Uh, on it, I already have mounted the Sigma 60mm f1.4, amazing lens. This is going in the back right now. So I'm gonna find almost late, so I need to hurry up. Camera lens. Now, my second lens here, um, this is my main lens, I use it for everything. Uh, this is the Sigma 30 f1.4, contemporary lens. Um, this lens and the other lens are mounted on the camera most of the time. Let's go here, close the side. <coughs> now to the other side, I'm gonna be mounting the two other lenses. This is the Sony 58 1.8. Uh, it, it's good sometimes to, I'm not sure what the band is gonna be about, but sometimes you can shoot some portraits, totally knock the background out, and, and this lens is fantastic for that, give me a lot of compression. So if there is like a, a picture I wanna do, and you can see the background is very dirty or messy or too many people. I use this one. So, pretty handy. Now, something that I use that may seem a little bit weird is a fish eye lens. This is ultra wide, the widest you can get. And of course, there is distortion, but it's not a circular fish eye, it's just a fish eye lens. It's a 7.5mm f2.8 from Southern Artisans. And it gives me really good results, even for, for events like I'm shooting today. And it cannot create the feeling that the pen is bigger, like create the feeling that the rooms are bigger. So clients like it, I like to use it too, so it's always coming with me. I don't use it that much, but somewhere uh, today I'm sure I'm gonna put it on my camera, shoot a couple of pictures with it. Now, the next thing I have is the Godox B860 Mark II. Uh, I'm just reading on the back. <laughs> I don't know much about names, but yeah, this, this is pretty good, it's very powerful. Um, because the event starts somewhere around 4.35, it's gonna end at night. So I'm gonna be transitioning between day and night. So this might come very handy somewhere in the middle of the event. Close this in, get rid of this back. So extra batteries, let's go somewhere here. Boom, extra SD cards, uh, you should be always ready, by the way, this one that's not only is an extra SD card, it's a card reading on itself. So I have like four cards here, two on the top, two on the bottom, and I can read all kinds of uh, memory cards. Um, I always like to bring this in because as I'm changing lenses, the Sony cameras, they tend to be like a dust magnet. Their sensors are too close to, to the mount of the lens. So I always bring this one with me. Uh, if I get a lot of dust on my lenses, that, that may happen. I have this size uh, seems you know, to clean the lenses. Um, this one is not so much to clean the lens, I use it to clean the lens, but there are a few um, microfiber, I think it's called microfiber, microfiber or something like that. And, and I use this because I live in Xiamen. Xiamen is an island. Uh, we're surrounded by the ocean. And the humidity here is incredible. It's very wet all the time. So you might get moist on the front of your lens, or might ruin your shot. So you sometimes you just, just need to wipe that moist out. And I have a few of these clean. You can see I rub them into a, into a seal bag. So whenever I get moist, I immediately clean it out. Maybe I throw it, that's where I have a whole bunch of them. They're very cheap anyway. Put it in the back. Um, but I have this extra card reader, in case the other one fail. I got used to always bring this light with me. I don't know why, it's just too small. This is the Enco Plus Lux 1600. It's very small, so easy to carry around. Why not? Just put it in there. I might need it. And last but not least, 
this is a, a super fast kind of like a you know you hang it in there hang your camera camera hands in, in your side looks very professional by the way but it's very comfortable as well it's not hanging on the neck hang it on your shoulder and you quickly bring your camera up and you start shooting by the way this one take the video on this have my name impressed right here how good that is and yeah I'm gonna pack everything up and ready to go go let's go So we arrived at the school, first thing I have to do, I talk to the manager of the school and she give me a rundown of what I need to do because I, I have no idea what the event is going to be about. So they have a lot of activities, you can see behind me there is a lot of things going on, there's going to be someone playing music, then there's going to be someone painting and there's going to be some craft uh, activities, they're going to let the little kids do something with the parents. So this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the 30mm 1.4 which is giving me a standard focal kind of range it's like the 50 in a full frame so I feel comfortable kind of grabbing all the action so I go for at least an hour with this lens the band is going to be a total of two hours and then the rest of the time I'm going to be changing lenses to grab different uh, fields of view and I already mounted my flash because I'm afraid at any time the sun will go down it's going to get dark so yeah let's take a look Just remember why I like to bring the A6300 and there is one major reason, especially today where there is so many kids and it's this one right here, that's the reason. When I shoot in with the 5D, I don't have this and that makes a world of difference because the kids are so small and I'm always going down and at least I can, I can do this. With the 5D I have to all the time put my eye here which makes it really difficult. So yeah, I got I have plenty of shots with the 30 f1.4 but I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes and I'm gonna switch to the 16 f1.4 just about the lenses of the gear but you see it's about the composition I try to use rule of third for most of the time sorry about the noise I know it's noisy I also try to interact with the kids make them smile it's part of the job you need to get in there and get involved 